Yo, what is going on, you farting fanfy? That is right. With ADP gone, I think there's a ton of potential for Leon's R to be a pretty good deck in the meta. ADP was really the the big deck that kind of held Leon's R down because it couldn't it just couldn't keep up with the prize exchange after Ultra Creation happened, and it was really really hard to get four Leon in the discard pile early to be able to one hit KO the ADP after a GX attack. So it's basically impossible to beat. Um, but now with it gone and out of the meta, I think there's a ton of potential for this deck because it can handle V Max is just fine. Either you can two hit KO them or even one hit KO them with the Royal Blaze, which does 100 plus 50 for each Leon in our discard pile. So we get four Leon in there. And if we play the fourth one as our supporter for the turn, we're doing 330 damage for two fire energy with a Royal Blaze. And we don't even have to do a one hit KO. We can set up the knockouts with our draw engine Pokemon Sincino with that energy assist. We can do 40 damage. And then if we have four Leon in the discard pile, the next turn we can just do 300 damage with the Royal Blaze. And that sets up a two-hit KO on those VMAX Pokemon. Yeah, since, you know, also our draw engine here, we got a 4-4 of that. Two Snorlax in here with the Gourmandize uh, for our early game draw. And I like two of them because I just don't want to prize it. I feel like I use this thing like every single game. So prizing it would be really, really bad. So we got two Snorlax in here because of that. And then a 4-1-4 Charizard line um, as, as our main attacker, of course. Now you might be asking, well, with Welder gone, how do we consistently keep Charizard set up and attacking? And the answer to that is Raihan. Raihan is so good in this deck. Uh, accelerates that basic energy from the discard pile and then we can search our deck for any one card so it almost feels a little bit better than welder sometimes because it can help us find the rare candy or the charizard if we have one or the other to get the candy zard online as well as accelerating that energy and then we attach and then we're attacking another big card that i found a lot with it is the exp share which also keeps the deck flowing turn to turn to make sure we're attacking every single turn uh, yeah, exp share is huge in this deck they knock out our active zard get an energy go to our bench zard our bench bench charmander bench charmeleon whatever and then we're set up to pretty much set up to be able to attack on the following turn just through the exp share in play so exp share is a huge card in this deck and i played a lot of this deck uh throughout the last couple formats i've always really enjoyed it I've, like i said adp has always been a huge hindrance to the deck's viability in the meta but with adp gone i feel like there's a lot of potential for this deck so let's go ahead let's get in some games let's try it out all right here we go getting to our first one we will go first pretty much every deck wants to go first nowadays uh, and we are just the same, more so for the fact that we just don't want our opponent to go first, more so than we want to go first. I feel like that's how a lot of decks feel, uh, is like you just want to go first because you just don't want your opponent to go first. Because if your opponent goes first, then they're attacking turn one or turn two before you do. Um, but like if we're going first with Leon's Hard, we go up against like any VMAX deck. They can't really do anything on their first turn. That uh, would be their second turn where they actually get to do something. And by then we have another turn to, you know, set up and do what we want to do. So it gets a little bit better for us. Going to open the... Charmander, I usually like to open the Charmander over the Mincino because the draw engine, getting the draw engine online always feels a little bit more important. And then from there, we go into the Charmanders potentially after that. Um, now, we do play some pretty low HP Pokemon, so are my opponent getting a knockout on them? Ooh, is it impossible? So we're up against Dragapult. That is a tough matchup. Um, see how it goes. Level Ball, going to go ahead and get another Mincino. Thankfully, Charmander does have 70 HP, which is a, can be a pretty big difference maker. Um catch here quick ball away i'm thinking about getting the research but i might get rid of the evolution incense get rid of the research grab the snorlax uh should check for my scoop up net there to be honest but we'll be fine and gourmandize all right need to get some more charmanders online protect ourselves from the potential of just kind of getting run over by the max phantom so we want like triple charmander uh, and then double Cincino for now. So at least we'll get Cincinos. We'll start making do. Hopefully get our triple Charmander. Evolve one of the this Charmander to a Charmeleon. And then um, Gormandize again at the end of the turn. Of course, we could get Marnie. This is actually Moltres Dragapult. I have not seen this build of Dragapult. One thing I love right now, it feels like there's so many different ways to play different decks. The two that really stand out to me the most have been Dragapult and Zacian. And I mentioned that a couple times, I think, in, um, in my videos to you guys. Like, I just love... I love the fact that there's so many ways to play decks right now. Uh, it really is super cool uh, and a big fan of uh, how the meta is going so far, for sure. Uh, we got to wear candy. I don't really want to wear candy this, though. The thing is, if I, I could wear candy, but the problem with wear candy, and then it becomes a big target, and then I'm kind of go down to wear candy if my opponent targets. And I'm not trying to use battle sense right this turn either. Like, I'm just not trying to battle sense. Like, I could, but if, it's definitely unnecessary to battle sense right now. Um, well, now I might wear candy it. <laughs> I don't know what I'd want a quick ball out of this hand, but we could go like, I need to quick ball something. I could quick ball the Charizard, I guess, but I don't really want to use the Ordinary Rod like this turn. I don't want to get rid of the Raihan either. I could get rid of the Raihan though. Evolve. I guess I could get rid of Raihan here, to be honest. 
Yeah, we can get rid of Raihan. It's not the end of the world, I don't think. I think we can survive losing to Raihan. So we prized a Charmander. All the Zards are here. Four Leon are here. Definitely should check your Leons. I didn't check my Leon at the beginning of the game. Definitely check your Leons. Um, attach here. Attach here. And Gorman dies for four. I didn't check for the scoop up net. I said I was going to do that, and then I didn't do it. Um, check for your scoop up net as well. Make sure you can move your Snorlax or not, and then plan around that. That can be a big one as well. <laughs> Making sure your Snorlax <clears throat> is movable or not is uh, it's a big difference maker. Whether or not you can actually move the Snorlax. So do the check. Here's the retreat. Here comes that uh, Dire Flame Wings. And here comes the swing with the Moltres. We have no Leon in the discard pile right now. Uh, so yeah, we're not hitting very hard yet. But if we play a Leon or two, we'll be in business. And I do want to play one, I think. I think I do want to play a Leon here. Um, and then we'll have two Leons left. Yeah, I do want to. I do want to try and play a Leon. Oh, actually, no, because they do hit themselves. I don't need to play one. I just need to get two in the discard pile. Okay, that changes things a little bit. Uh, draw for turn is a quick ball, so I'm gonna start with make two Leon. Yeah, so just need to get two in the discard pile. Um, make two fire energy. We already have the fire for turn. We have plenty of fire left. We're drawing a ton of cards. There's a Leon. Andy. Charizard, evolve Charizard, and we are setting up super clean in this one. Um, I said I don't have to play the Leon, so I'm gonna quick ball the Leon, get a Mencino, and then I'm gonna level ball for a uh, Charmander. And I might use, I'm gonna use one Battle Sense here, the right candy. You gotta be careful with the Battle Senses though. I'll warn you guys, you gotta be careful with them because, I mean, <laughs> you can you can see like three good cards sometimes, and you're like, well. This stuck. This sucks. This sucks. Um, get the Charizard. Discard the Leon again. These ones. When your deck is this thick, it's usually unlikely to have those bad battle senses. So I was comfortable using the two there. Probably gonna lay off them unless I need to dig super deep for the Leon next turn. But my opponent is not in a good spot at all. They have a Dragon Ball in play with no energy. They could set this up to attack. Oh no, they can't. Wait. I just realized that. I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. But I forgot that Max Phantom was double Psychic Energy. So Moltres plus Dragon Ball seems like a lot of stuff in one deck to be honest now that i now that i see that at first i was like okay so you can go like you know dark plus psychic and that's kind of fine um here comes an escape rope i think i'm gonna ship this charmander it has one retreat cost we can retreat it to the bench could have done the sensino then i guess for the same reason um i expect a shred coming down i don't really want i didn't want to get a sensino shredded though i guess this means they can go zigzagoon plus shred knockout now though which could be a little bit worse. Oh, the Max Phantom is actually happening. Okay. The Raihan Max Phantom definitely would have rather set up since, you know, one more battle sense would maybe allow us to see like our whole deck here. Uh, and then we'd definitely be able to find that last Leon to one hit KO this Dragapult. And then here comes a Crobat. Um, so super clean play from my opponent though to get this Dragapult set up this turn. Roar Energy. Uh, or, or, yeah, Aurora Energy, discard the site. Yeah, super clean play, though, in the end for my opponent. Yeah, I should have probably sent up, well, yeah, Battle Sense would have been nice, to be honest, so. Mistake on my part. I did not expect people to get KO'd at all here. I should have probably thought for a second, but like, wait a second. All right, Raihan. Oh, they could attack this turn with Max Phantom. I was like, all right, it's going to be a Shred plus a Goon Ping, but even that KO is my Charmander, so. All right, let's start with some McDo's. Going to get rid of Mincino. Not going to use the Ordinary Rod yet, even though I kind of want that Charmander back. That is a lot of energy. <laughs> Uh, make do an energy and now we do need to play the Leon in this situation if we can find it we have to play the Leon we can't just um, <clears throat> I think we can see our whole deck here if I use this we'll see everything but one card um, battle sense here there's the Leon so we are in business now exactly where we want to be going to use an ordinary rod uh, do both uh, going to get back <clears throat> these two and I kind of want to recover the Eldegoss, but I think I'll, uh, I do kind of want to recover the Eldegoss, to be honest, but I don't really want to recover anything else is what I'm thinking here. Okay, so play the Leon. We'll attach to our benched Charizard, and they go ahead, Royal Blaze for 330 damage. And uh, yeah, there's the concede from my opponent. Quick dub in this first one with the Charizard. I mean, yeah, that's the power of the Zard. We can one hit KO v maxes a one for three prize trade is pretty good and even two hit KOing them keeps us ahead in the prize trade um so yeah leon's Zard, man it's good another coin flip dub let's get it going first snorlax start not quite actually mulligan we could still, could still start that snorlax which is going to be our ideal starter another card that i want to actually kind of test out in here um is great ball over evolution incense because i just feel like finding the basic pokemon more aggressively early on 
can be a big difference maker for, yeah, just for setting up. Uh, and this hand, pretty good quick ball away the Leon. Um, and then, you know, attach, retreat, Snorlax. As long as we didn't prize both of them, which is pretty unlikely. That is why I play two Snorlaxes, because I just use it turn one so often. Uh, turn two or even turn three. Like, I use it down the road um, as the game plays out so much that, yeah, I think it's just worth including the, the second count. You don't see that all the time, the second Snorlax. Um, I'm going to give up an ESP share here. This feels a little bit risky, but I do really want to get a Mencino in play here. Uh, it does feel a little bit risky. Uh, to do that. I didn't check my Raihan count or the other EXP share, but I mean, it could be uh, okay. It could be okay. We'll see. I right, got the candy. Zard got a quick ball, a level, but we have an insanely good hand here. Uh, get some more Mencinos online. Uh, but the big thing, yeah, the big thing to check here is do we have Raihan's or the other EXP share in the deck? Because it is possible, you know, if we attach only one energy per turn, our opponent is just like, all right, KO, whatever you have energy on. Okay, KO, whatever you have energy on. And we never actually get to attack. That's why stuff like the Raihan and the ESP shares are so important because it creates a board state or we can potentially, um, you know, use the Raihan to get enough energy in play where we just start swinging. I also might just not evolve the Charizard. You saw me do that in the last game where I'm like, I don't really want to lose a candy Charizard because then if my opponent KOs that, I have to get candy plus Charizard again on the next turn to be able to attack, which can be a lot to pull off. Um, and actually... Can my opponent actually pull off a... No, thank goodness. We need this Snorlax for one more turn here. Um, <laughs> we need one more turn. Um, so yeah, if I candy this Charizard, then next turn my opponent can go, okay, Brave Blade Knockout. And if they don't get another candy Charizard, then I'm kind of stuck. So that's why I actually like the idea probably of not going with the candy Charizard here. Just kind of hold the rare candies uh, and, and wait for a little bit. Definitely like an energy for turn. Um, now we might candy Charizard because we're probably going to research to find an energy. So it changes a little bit because we drew this rare candy or because we drew the research and we didn't have to get an energy for turn yet. Um, so stuff always changes. Uh, and we're going to have to go with the flow. But yeah, only two rare candy in the deck. But once again, Raihan really helpful with helping us find rare candy as well. So I'm not too worried about it. But then the Mencino. Quick ball the Leon. Grab the Charmander. Uh, and then, yeah, candy Charizard. And, oh, I mean, I can play this. Let's take a look through the deck one last time. No reason not to. All right. Don't want to grab anything. Just make sure. You never know, right? Uh, drew pretty well so far. I'm going to go ahead and go with a battle sense here. Grab the Raihan, lose the Charizard. I think that has to be the way to go. The Raihan, too important to not grab here, I think. And, uh, yeah, attach to Charmander, actually, maybe? Because if they want to focus the Zard, then I can keep... Then I'll have the Charmander around. And we can't Gourmandize for anything, unless I want to use this now. But I'd rather use this after they potentially go boss KO, you know, Charmander or Charizard. So if I put the energy here and they focus my Charizard, now I have an energy in play to work with uh, extra. And if they focus the Charmander, well, then I can Raihan to my Charizard. And if they just go, you know, Brave Blade knock on my active, uh, well, then they KO to Snorlax and not a Charizard or a Charmander, so I'm probably pretty fine with that situation. So that I wouldn't care about. <laughs> if they go with that route, we'll be we'll be okay for sure. Um, but I expect to get bossed here. Um, they could whiff, uh, but they, you know, they got the Rotom Phone combo to help dig deeper. They've had a pretty big hand on this last turn. Like, I expect the boss to go down here and, you know, my Charizard to get knocked out. Of course, we'll see what they actually have. That's always how it goes, right? you like, they could have this, but what do they actually have? <clears throat> and so far, looks like it might be another Intrepid Sword. They're playing pretty slow now. Could be a Marnie KO. Um, in which case, this this play looks a little bit weird, me splitting up the energy like this. But we can actually go one more turn without drawing a prize. We actually go two more turns. We can let my opponent draw, and they go after the Charmander here. They're like, oh, that energy there. Is it bait to go for the Charizard? They go for the Charmander. Luckily for us, we have the Raihan as a follow-up, so we don't care which one they really went after there, to be honest. Um, yeah, they were free to go with this or that or that or this. Go Charizard. So we really want to set up more pieces for another Charizard, ideally. Um, I do kind of want an Ordinary Rod. Charizard and Charmander. So we're going to do that. We're going to do both. I'm going to get the energy as well. Um, now, we won't have any energy in the discard pile after this. Although, maybe I should have made do to try and find another make do. Uh, but I do want to kind of draw into the Charizard so I can use Raihan. So, yeah, we have to make do the energy here, which is fine because we have three, three Leon in the discard pile already. So, already, so we don't need to get rid of another of those. Um, fumbling over my words here. Make do the Leon. And we want to get another Charmander down for sure if we can. There it is. It's going to start with the Battle Sense, though. Feeling pretty comfortable about the battle stance. We'll get the the Charmander here. Um, and then, yeah, go ahead, Raihan, sell the energy, um, and we get a any one card. It's going to be a Charmeleon. This is going to be a Charmander. we we'll go ahead and grab that EXP share then. We'll get it eventually. There we go. <laughs> Attach return. 
Uh, grab the Charmeleon off the level ball. Make it a little bit easier to get into the next Charizard. And we do have another Raihan in play as well, or in hand as well. Throw down this. I'll throw the XP share over here. And then Royal Blaze for the KO. 600 damage, a little bit overkill on the damage. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Cruising now. Plenty of stuff set up. We want to get the Snorlax out of play. We always kind of hope our opponent KOs our Snorlax. And that's why we play a scoop up net over something like uh, Air Balloon or something. I mean, Air Balloon doesn't move Snorlax anyways, but that's why we do play. Okay, so here comes a Tool Scrapper. Oh, but they whiff anything else. They actually just passed. That is interesting. I, I have to feel like my opponent misclicked there. I, I just don't see a, 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 a world where you'd ever just choose to pass there. That feels very curious. I <laughs> I don't quite know what happened there. I feel like they maybe went tool scrapper, got the XP share, and they're like, all right, back and click done. Uh, either way, we had the Raihan in hand, so we would have been able to respond to this station, but we were out of the XP share at that point. They could have set up a third station. We could have been in trouble, actually, to be honest. So... Yeah, the tool scrapper there was pretty big. Without the tool scrapper, I think we had it pretty much locked up. The XP share would make another Charizard, a Charizard up to be able to be able to, to be able to attack. And then we had that last Raihan in hand that would also make another Charizard. I guess we could have used Eldegoss for Raihan, so we still were probably in a pretty good spot, actually, to be honest, anyways. Um, but yeah, stations are pretty easy to. All right, here we go again. Going first. Opening hand. Pretty good. Uh, for going first is not bad. We would love a Mencino down, but uh, we have the Quick Ball to get the Snorlax, retreat to the Snorlax. Gormandai is on the first turn, which is really uh, not all we can hope for, but like, I mean, that's like usually a good enough start. Take a quick scan through. Tulion in the deck. Oh, no. We're going to have to be doing some swinging, some two-hit KOs here. Uh, some aggressively swinging to try and get some prize cards as soon as possible. Yeah, two Leon uh, prize. That's not good. One Leon prize, <clears throat> manageable. And like a little bit more likely that you're going to find out the prize cards that much sooner. Two Leon prize is going to be a little bit difficult to deal with. I'm actually, I'm curious to see how this goes. We'll see. This is one of the, of course, uh, faults of the deck or like inconsistencies that can come up. Of course, you can't control whether or not you prize Leon. And sometimes that can be a really big deal. Um, now we could run something like a Peonia in here to help us get the Leons out of the prize cards. I haven't tested that out yet. Like theoretically, it does not seem great because we'd have to like, you know, find the Peonia, and then we'd have to get the Leon specifically wherever it is in the prize cards out of the prize cards uh, before we start drawing prize cards anyways, because once we just start drawing prize cards, we're probably going to uh, draw into it anyway. So I don't love the idea of uh, of that as an inclusion, but it could definitely be the way to go. When we end up in these kind of situations, it feels like we, wishes, we wish we had something like uh, the Peonia in here to help look at our prize cards. But who knows, maybe we'll get that first... Uh, tag team knockout on a Dragon Ball VMAX, and we'll get the double Leon out of the prize cards. That's what we can hope for, anyways. And the draw was not great. Uh, we did get an energy for turn, which is like the main thing we're looking for here. So it's not terrible, and we can go get ourselves that Mencino that I was talking about last turn. And then we get a pre pretty decent uh, Gormandize as well. I'm actually like, well, Ordinary Rod is so important to recover Pokemon in this matchup, but I don't really want to use it yet. I could have used it to recover just some energies, but... I think Holnia is probably fine. Candy Zard is out there now. We got the level ball for a Sincino. Now, we're not hitting very hard yet with that Royal Blaze with no Leon in the discard pile. It's going to be that much harder to find them, like I said, because we only have those two uh, Leon in the deck. But if we can get at least one of them uh, next turn, that'll be a good start, I think. Um, Dragapult setup. Oh, they whiffed Energy Turn 1. I didn't even realize that. They did whiff Energy Turn 1, so we're not under too much pressure at all right now, actually. Um, and maybe we'll even get off the first big attack if we can find our scoop-up net to move the Snorlax out of the way. Um, yeah, I didn't even realize that they whiffed the Energy Turn 1. But they played a ton of stuff, uh, so I just kind of assumed the energy was in the mix of that. Um, but uh, apparently not. Apparently not. Here it is, though. They get a Shred off this turn, but that is not putting a whole ton of pressure on us, so we'd love to see that. Um... For sure. Let's see how many Drizzile they get set up as well. They might not get any Drizzile set up, which means no threat of Inteleon on the following turn as well. Nope. There we go. Drizzile is out. So Inteleon, uh, I mean, multiple potential Inteleon on the way next turn. We'll see what the, the Shady Dealings grabs. I wouldn't be surprised if they did a little bit of a Drizzile train here. Probably get two Drizziles out. Have the option of a couple quick shootings. Um, and then it can get, get pretty scary from there. Especially with no potential for us to one-hit KO a Dragapult. Although, us one-hit KO in the first one isn't super likely. Um, the second one isn't like that unlikely, I don't think. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to two a KO this one, this first one, and then we're gonna have to kind of hope 
that the prize cards give us that that second um those last two leons for a one at ko on the second dragon ball v max i feel like that's like our only almost our only route to victory here um our most consistent route to victory here whatever you want to call it because without that i think it's definitely going to be tough uh they eyed up the fawn crystal got the energy but not gonna be able to attach it this turn so just gonna have to hold it um just gonna, i guess just want it in the hand don't want to top deck it makes sense uh and they're probably decently aware that i probably don't play marnie or anything like that oh my gosh another ordinary rod can we stop uh <laughs> can we stop can we not no more ordinary rod please definitely gonna be recovering some energy this turn because we're gonna make do an energy out of this hand for sure boom boom okay mencino candy zard hopefully fine it would be great to find another charizard here uh found it <clears throat> so now we can go candy zard which is great it's just great just get the charizard candy the charizard uh ordinary rod like i said i'm probably gonna play one here uh battle sense oh man uh probably take the ordinary rod definitely now we definitely can't research this turn <clears throat> I am gonna split my energy. Oh, do I want to split my energy? I think I do want to split my energy here because otherwise I could like boss one up and like trap it maybe. So I think I'm gonna split my energy. I will play one of these because we do kind of just need some of that energy back <laughs> at least. Uh, we still have yet to find a Leon. Once again, that is kind of the scariest thing going down here is that we don't have Leon yet, but we have a lot of draw support on the next turn, the double battle sense. Uh, make do might stick around so we have a lot of ways to draw cards next turn uh and hopefully we can find at least you just need one of those leons just need one do you need to hit for 150 and i think that'll set us up in a pretty good spot to kind of go from there so we should hit for 150 and then um you know find that second leon a couple turns down the road and then like i said off the prize cards i feel like we're gonna have to hit double leon off those three prize cards to have a chance in this one although that doesn't sound great and to be honest, it doesn't feel great that that has to be our out, but I feel like that ha is going to be our out. They're going to be putting a lot of pressure on us with this first Max Phantom and all the Max Phantoms to come. So that's going to put a lot of pressure on us, which is going to make things a little bit difficult to keep up in the prize exchange. So I think, like I said, going to need to hit double Leon off of that. Here comes a Goon Ping going after my Mencino. They might have the Scoop Up Knight in hand. They might be able to KO Mencino. Nope, just giving themselves the option here. All right. Quick shooting, of course, is also another thing they could get out and then just start quick shooting stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be putting a lot of pressure on us very soon. They don't want to KO Charizard with Max Phantom, but with double quick shooting, they can get the KO like that. Um, they got a lot of options. They got a lot of options. Level Ball, Drizzile, that could get the quick shooting or a scoop up net or something. Get them something to get moving. And, yeah, here comes that uh, that Drizzile. What are they going to get with it is the question. I'm sure I'm sure this Mincino is getting knocked out. That That's one thing I'm pretty sure of. So, whether they get the scoop up net or Evolution Incense for a quick shooting or yeah those those are the main two i guess <laughs> those are the main two and yeah because we do we do have that i mentioned again double leon prized we don't have a, ch a chance to like kind of pop off this turn and like go play three get three leon, leon in the discard pile play a leon um which is always a super cool play to make with this deck but yeah we don't have that option because we did prize two leon so don't get that as an option. Oh, actually, I just realized we can't use Eldegoss. I have to be aware of that. They do play Path of the Peak, and we don't play any stadiums, so I actually can't Eldegoss. I have to make sure I uh, remember that. Ooh, and they got the quick shooting out. So, yeah, a ton of pressure coming on, hitting out my Charizard. We're probably going to attack with this Charizard then, I think. I think that makes more sense. Um, Yeah, I think it makes more sense to attack with this Charizard then. And, yeah, here comes the Max Phantom. Goodbye, Mincino. Goodbye, Snorlax. Uh, I mean, assuming they're going to go after the Mincino, I guess they could put their damage somewhere else, but putting those two pings on Mincino should be a pretty straightforward. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's like, I don't see why I would go anywhere else. And yeah, goodbye, Mincino. All right. I think this Charizard makes the most sense to send up. I'm actually not like 100% convinced on that, though. I'm, I'm not even convinced myself on that one. All right, I'm going to make do this research. I'm going to throw out a couple battle senses. Hopefully find some Leon. There's a Leon. Now, I could take the Leon... Or I could just discard the Leon. We haven't played a supporter for turn. I think I'm going to take the Leon and maybe play the Leon. I don't really care about the scoop of net. The energy also isn't super relevant. Plenty of energy recovery. I'm going to battle sense again. Take the Raihan for sure. For the next turn. Bench uh, Charmander. Bench Mencino. Catch active. Play Leon. And Royal Blaze, <clears throat> get a good hit here. We get a good hit, 180. Next turn, we are doing, I believe, 
uh 150 so that is the knockout <laughs> i had to stop and do the math for a second we're doing 150 next turn which chaos this active dragon pulled okay and then like i said if we can get it is a tall order but if we can get double e on other prize cards we can discard one of them and then we can you know use the other one uh we can we can win this game still still winnable uh even if we are in a tough spot let's try to v they're down their scoop of net i guess they could play multiple scoop of net most people play just that one uh, but it doesn't really make a big difference they're going to want to go v max into v max anyways Sombol grab um and then hopefully i mean i'm hoping that the rest of their quick shootings are prized to be honest because i don't want to have to deal with any more quick shooting i think that would make things a lot more difficult than we would like at this point so hopefully they prized a quick shooting or two there's none in the discard pile but yeah, hopefully they prized a quick shooting or two um that's a shady dealings that's fine i don't really care about that unless they have some really cool play that they can pull off that i don't see that would be super annoying i guess they could like boss ko sincino and mincino <clears throat> that would be annoying but i don't know then i would have all my charge cards in place so how annoying would that be actually that might not be too annoying i'd maybe be fine with that overall to be honest um but let's see what they grab here with these these uh these shady dealings evolution incense marnie okay disrupt our hand and then it looks like it get that last quick shooting online. And with that quick shooting, they will be able to KO this Charizard. Uh, but they won't be able to KO anything else off the bench because that'll be all their extra ping damage. So they can put five out there with the Max Phantom, but they can't KO the Mincino um, or like the Charmander or something. So that's good for us. Um, of course, I don't love getting Marnie here. I kind of liked my hand. I feel like this hand had pretty much everything we would need in it, especially when you combo with the Battle Senses and the Make Do's. <clears throat> we should be drawing pretty much everything we need for the rest of the game. But Marnie is happening, so we got to deal with that. One, two, three. Got another Sincino, Leon, Evolution, Incense. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll start with a make do of Leon. I think I might shuffle the deck with the Evolution, Incense first. Go grab the Charmeleon, I think. Um, and we can evolve that there. We'll see where they put the damage from the Max Phantom, though, actually. Because if they, like, put five on this, then I'm definitely going to want to rare candy that instead. Play for the rare candy anyways. Um, so we'll see where the max phantom damage goes there's the knockout of course but where are they going to set up the damage what are they trying to knock out on the bench next turn is the question where are they going with it they're spreading it out quite a bit so if we make this a charmeleon it could get ko'd and this would get ko'd so we have to try and candy this into a charger so when i play this i'm going to go shuffle the deck and i'm going to specifically grab a charizard because we want to try and candy that into a zard which to be honest wouldn't it, shouldn't it be too difficult to draw into um, we do need energy to attack with as well. Um, so we do need a little bit of stuff here. Make do the Cincino. And Candy Charizard. Um, I think they're always going to be able to draw two prize cards next turn and then one on the following turn. So it doesn't matter what I put on my bench, so I may as well be aggressive with it. But I don't think they can draw three prize cards next turn. I don't think that's possible. So Battle Sense here. Got the Raihan. Definitely playing that. Raihan. I don't think I'm going to use the other Battle Sense. And then I can search my deck for any one card. Um, and I don't think any of this really matters too much. I'm going to be able to attach there just fine. Um, I may as well grab the EXP share then is what I'm feeling. Um, yeah, the EXP share is what I'm feeling is like going to be the most impactful. Maybe I could have gone with Battle Sense first then. And now I might go ahead and Battle Sense anyways. The Ordinary Rod. Okay. Throw down Mancino. Charmander, EXP share, attach. I could use the Ordinary Rod this turn and grab like double energy and then double or double energy and a Sincino to make this thing a Sincino next turn, I guess. Um, I guess that kind of makes sense. Sino and then two energy. Sure. I don't know if this is correct at all or not. And then, like I said, here it all comes down to this Royal Blaze. We need to hit double Leon off the prize cards, or I think it doesn't matter anything that we did this turn, to be honest. There's one Leon. There's two Leon. Okay. And there's a Raihan. But no one really cares about the Raihan. It's all about the Leons. And we have them both in hand now. We have both Leon in hand. The question is, if we get Marnied, can we find them again? Um, and if we don't get Marnied, well, if we don't get Marnied, we just have it. Um, so let's see what my opponent has here. Uh, and if they can disrupt our, our hand at all. Here comes the quick shooting pings. But like I said, they can't draw three prize cards this turn. They can only draw a maximum of two. Uh, here comes another quick shooting. Going to get rid of my Mencino. So they can go KO my Charizard, KO my Mencino. And then uh, 
We got both Leons in hand. We got both of them off the prize cards. What an insane draw off the prize cards. This is what I was talking about with like Peonia. Like we have to find it before the P before, and then we'd also have to like get the Leons out of the prize cards, or we could just draw the prize cards, get the Leons, and win the game that way. And of course, Dragon Bolt's putting a lot more pressure on us than the average VMAX deck. So be then being able to take multiple prize cards a turn really means we have to play really fast. Normally, if we prize a Leon or two, it's not the biggest deal. And <laughs> wow, I can't believe we won this one in the end. That is so crazy. Uh, the double Leon off the prize cards to wrap it up here. Now, all I have to do is not misplay, but I think I have this one mapped out pretty well. I'm just going to send up my Charizard. We'll make do away one of them, play the other, and that will be uh, game. What a crazy pull off the prize cards there to wrap this one up, guys. And that's going to do it for my games with Leonzard. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, be sure to give the video a like. If you're new here and you like the content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you tomorrow.